Welcome to the 12 part tutorial series in which I'm going to try and be as in-depth as possible at looking at and describing all the functions and features of the new Simpler that became available with the release of Ableton Live 9.5. So to give you an overview, first of all, Simpler is a software instrument that comes packaged with the Ableton Live suite. It's available in the browser under Instruments, Simpler. It can be added to a track by either dragging and dropping it onto an empty MIDI track or dragging and dropping it onto an empty space within your project, whether it be in the session or the arrangement view. Now the whole foundation of Simpler is sample-based synthesis. What this means is we start with a ready-made audio file. This could be something that we recorded into Ableton, this could be something that we find in our samples browser, or this could be something that we drag and drop in from anywhere on our computer. This gives us a lot of power and the ability to either just quickly play back a single shot of this really great kick drum, or to create some really complex evolving sound based upon a multi-hour long recording of drone music or something like that. So lots of power inside of here, but it all starts with that single sample. Now we're going to look at, over the course of these videos, the three new playback modes of Simpler, the addition of warping or tempo syncing our samples to the grid or to our projects, and we're also going to look at all the little tweak abilities or modulation capabilities inside of Simpler. And then we're going to end the whole series with talking about now that you've created a sound, how do I make it ready to play with other instruments? With that, let's get started. I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial series. Please feel free to comment below. I'm always trying to answer any questions that might pop up over the days. And uh, yeah, let's go.